ye are the salt of the earth. You are a treasure to the world, not a burden. Salt will ever be sorted after because salt deficiency has a lot of health uh, repercussions. Salt is what gives taste to any food. Salt is what preserves food from decadence. Every child of God is an asset, not a liability. So you are an asset to your world. You should think as an asset. You are not here for survival. You are here to make people live. You are here to help people survive. You are on a rescue mission to stop people from being destroyed. He said, you are the light of the world to show the world the way to go by the inspired steps you are taking in life. So from Matthew 5, 13 to 16, we see the picture of a believer as an asset to his world. A pace setter, a pathfinder, a trailblazer. That's who you are. That's who I am. You are not here for survival. It's survival mentality that makes a slave. Survival mentality. Man must survive now. You know. What more do we need? Just to survive. For as a man thinking in his heart, so you see. I've always thought of how to make life better for man. I've never sat down one day to think about how to live. No, 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 no. You are beyond that in redemption. No. We are here to add value to life. We are not here as consumers. We are here as producers. Producers of what will make living better for mankind. See yourself as an asset from now and engage in what will make that a reality by thinking beyond yourself and thinking others it is thinking others that makes a leader thinking self only makes a slave think your family think your village think the society in which you live think solutions think helps Lord, grace to pass through this journey as an asset indeed. Grace to engage all the resources at my disposal, my spiritual and intellectual resources, in finding solutions to the bugging issues of life. I receive that grace right now. Come on, go ahead and receive it. Go ahead and receive it. You are not a liability. You are an asset. You are not here for survival. You are here, here to make others leave. Receive that grace from God, every one of us. Let's receive it right now. Receive that grace from God. I'm not just here as a worker. I'm here to make things work. I'm here to locate what to make things work for men and women of my generation. Everybody has something to offer. Everyone has something special to offer. It's generation. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Think beyond yourself. Think outside of yourself. Think your generation. Think others. Beyond your family, think beyond your village, think beyond your your tribe, think your nation, think your region, think the world. We are not the light of our locality; we are the light of the world. We are not the salt of our tribe; we are the salt of the world. We are not the salt of a nation; we are the salt of the world. Come on now, think it, think it, think it, and take that grace to walk in it. In Jesus' precious name, 
we have prayed. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We appreciate you being part of our community and look forward to sharing more content with you soon. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you.